and they are requesting and requesting. At least we have to make it. Anyone, the shepherds are not so much qualified to do this. So, mercifully, mercifully, he was very great learned scholar. All Siddhanta, I know that he can do it. You have heard the, his object, Gaur Vani. What is Gaur Vani? No. See, explain it. That I told in a little spot in the back, I don't remember. So, all the money. Aradhya Bhagavan Vajesha. This is all the money. And also another charity. And one shows the Bhakti Vinod Thakma. Am Nari Praha Tattam Bhari Vinaya Parma. Sarva Shakti Vinaya. This is all the money. Go in the front of any place and glorify it. How you do this? Very quickly, in a couple of years, he pushed her entire body. Very quickly. And what is the essence of his teachings? Very quickly.
So in this way, it's like the benchmark that all our acharyas have given to measure Krishna consciousness. Like Bhakti Nam Shri Bhakti Nam Thakur said, Punibodu Tibo Harinamarasa Namarasi Mati Hoiho Vishpas. The same thing, when will I have this deep taste for the nectar of the holy name of Krishna? But he also, in the same verse, gave the secret how to have it. Rasarara Sika Charna Parash. By touching the feet of those who are Rasarara Sika, who can taste, who know, who are expert in tasting the transcendental mellows themselves. By touching their feet, I will know how to anchor for the same thing. So, by injecting this mood in the hearts of so many of us, our Srila Prabhupada, like, like, a, like a dispenser, gave out so many packets of medicine, packets of sweets, like maybe after no, the Prabhupada tonight, Mara will give out some sweets. In the same way, the Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj gave out sweets everywhere. And some, some Supriti, or maybe no Supriti, but somehow or other they were able to taste through no qualification. So, like that, this game picked up so many of us. And also, I wanted to say that he. he he gave the secret, like Bhagavad Gita Thakur in that verse, Srila Prabhupada gave the same secret. Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti Janma, Mula Vai Sadhu Sangha, Krishna Prem Janme, Tena Puna Mukya. He said that the association with sadhus is like an electrical current. Srila Prabhupada always gave this example of a powerhouse and a plug. The powerhouse is Krishna and Parikar. But the plug is the pure devotee who preaches Krishna Bhakti everywhere. So you can plug anywhere into that. Here in this room we can plug in and get the same power as the powerhouse. Here in this room we can plug in and get the same power as the powerhouse. So, Srila Prabhupada also gave the principle of Tat Aragi Jananagami, that by the association of those who have, who are Rasarasika, who can actually taste the sublime mellows of Krishna Bhakti in the mood of, uh, in the mood of Braj, then those pure devotees are like the plugs where we can tap into the power source and get that pure Krishna Bhakti ourself. Thank you.
you are happy. And now okay. object and mission. This way. See the Bhakti Vidhan Swami Maharaj. He had not told anything new. <coughs> Only in this world we. But he did it translate. <coughs> Translation of the words told by Sri Goswami, Ramanath Das Goswami, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Hindi Lai, Narottam Thakur, Yaganath Das Bhavan Maharaj, Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Sri Bhaktivinoda and Sri Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. He had never established anything new. You know that Krishna consciousness is why? No, no, he is. And what he has done his mission. This is not new thing. <coughs> or something, some might be new. The spirit, the mission, object is same. But he has told it in English. <coughs> I told you so many times. Brahma, Nara, Vyas, Dev Goswami, or they are the original members of his school. Any member of his school cannot deviate or cannot fall. Never, never. Who is really Krishna consciousness? It will do.
by any special reason. We, some of them, have de deviated like that. We are deviated. Not from Golo Vrindavan, but really from borderline. That is Tatastha, Tatastha position. Not from Golo. Anyone going to Golo, how they can return back to this one? They can. Jagadakva. Nami Vartante. Tadham Param. That is why. It is Paramdha. Why? So, Devi Dham. Swaga. Tapolo. After that, Paramdha. From Devi Dham. Mohini Lo. Oh, anyone can do it. But in, in that Dham, who is Param Dham? Param. Who is Param? Supreme. Like Krishna, no difference between the Dham and Him. So Param Dham. So anyone can appreciate from that time. So, but anyhow, we are from marginal line. We are forgotten. So, to remind me, Krishna himself comes. His sense is representatives. Sometimes it comes in wrong form, dishing the form and other form. To remind us that you must back to God and back to Him. Back to God and back to God. Ah, your home is there. So, how to know? How to go there? That, uh, that was the mission of our life. So we should try to follow Him. <coughs> so in this, in the conclusion, we know that in our constitutional form, position, we are all <coughs> nitya servant, eternal servant of Krishna. We cannot be happy in this world, this related world. You can, by any position, by money, by position, for anything, you can. So, we know that we should practice bhakti yoga. Without practicing bhakti yoga, you cannot attain your that original constitution position. Never and never. So, <coughs> Masipuri Krishna had manifested Srimad Bhagavata. That is authority more than Veda and Upanishad and Pura. So, all the Goswami books have come from for that very Srimad Bhagavatam. In each and every line of Srimad Bhagavatam, all these transcendental Siddhanta has been given. Sabai Punsam Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Adhokhale Ahek Tukya Apriyatata Ya Bhakti Krusokta Me Bhakti But what is that Bhakti? We should know. It is not any speculation of mine. Nothing. In Srimad Bhagavatam and especially Rupa Goswami has told by the inspiration of Sri Chaitanya. Really this is Lok of Bhakti is from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He inspired him in uh, prayer and after that he 
inspired in Jagannath. And he requested his all associates to be merciful, to expand to mercy on Krishna. So that he can know my heart and he can get to this part. So check. Rupa Goswami has written Anya Vilasita Sun Kyan Karmat Dhyanam Anurlena Krishna Musidan Bhakti oh, What is the meaning? Stand I want that all should know this is true. If you cannot remember, but the essence of this is true should be remembered always. And try to follow this is then Bhakti will come. As should be remembered. There are various verses in scriptures which are describing the Guru's Bhakti. She will be the intervention for us, surviving himself in order. Yatra Bhakti of Hachadeva. That the supreme occupation of all activities, of all persons, is to render devotional service to the Lord. And such devotional service should be a point of heat and a patiyata. It should be causeless, without motivation, and it should be uninterrupted. So, though this verse, this is describing very clearly what is Uttama Bhakti. But still, Srila Rupa Goswami has described one verse which is in Bhakti Rasa Sindhu, which is said to be the emperor verse describing what is Uttama Bhakti. Anyadilasita Sunyam, Gyana Kama Anapitam, Anukul Yena Krishnan Shri Bhakti Uttama. That the cultivation of all activities of the body, mind, words, but most importantly, of the moods, which are directed towards the pleasure of the Supreme Lord, which are not covered by fruit of activities, means that we have to perform activities, we have to perform karma, but these activities should not um, be a uh, hindrance to our performance of bhakti. That it should not be covered by gyan, knowledge, means that it should not be covered by any type of impersonal knowledge. And in a higher sense, for those who have achieved the higher realms of bhakti, then I aspire again, knowledge of the um, Offices and supremacy of the Lord should not cover one's move in Madhurya Gyan or Shuddha Bhakti. And also the mystic um, desire for mystic um, attainment, um, mystic cities, that these should not cover one's Bhakti. That the Bhakti should be flowing like a stream of honey unbroken. And in all circumstances, it should be favorably disposed for the pleasure of Krishna. So when such bhakti is continuous, unbroken, and without any hindrance, then it is said to be Bhutana Bhakti. Stand up and clear more in your words. I ask anyone whether ready to go or well ready to go. Also be prepared to explain all oh, talk to much. I may or tell anyone lost one. Yes. Yes, sir. Don't fear. <laughs> I want to uh, see good drama 
drama play. And so many drama players are here. So you should make a daily or the next day. Tomorrow you should make it come up with very attractive and with good teachings. Everything is an emulation of Krishna simultaneously. The same as Krishna gets the same. Not, not money? Not so well. So you should take it. It is effect of your so, <laughs> all of our emotions, all of our relationships, everything that we do is actually an emanation from Krishna. It can be one, in one of two worlds, either in the world inhabited or controlled by Yogamaya, which is Krishna's internal potency, or Mahamaya, which is Krishna's external potency. We find ourselves inhabiting a world full of joy, of sorrow, and relationships. In this world, which is a reflection of the spiritual world, Srila Rupa Goswami came and described that the culmination of all human activities, which is art, which is love, which is satisfaction and happiness and um, intimacy. Srila Rupa Goswami gathered all of these things together and said, these things aren't the property of mundane poetry. These aren't the property of mundane, property of, of mundane relationships. Shri Rupa was wanting to reclaim all of our all emotional property, happiness, sadness, anger, frustration. He reclaimed all of these things for Sri Krishna. This verse is saying that in all of our relationships, in everything that we do, everything that we say, everything that we think, in an unbroken stream, like honey, everything that we do should be in relationship to please Sri Krishna. There should be no other goal in our life, and no other goal in every single action in our life, except to please Sri Krishna, to make Krishna happy. In doing this, he mentions two things, karma and jnana. Karma is activity. Was, I had a really beautiful experience in Mathura with my god brother, dear god brother, Radhanath Prabhu. Probably many of you have had your um, feathers ruffled by Radhanath Prabhu. Radhanath Prabhu and I were massaging Gurudev every day. And Gurudev would have, we would come and he would ask us to recite a sloka. So this was the sloka that he wanted us to learn. So we came in and, he, and we recited a Sanskrit and he asked us to give the meaning of the sloka. So he asked me first and I started giving the meaning. I said, we should not perform actions. And he said, what actions? He said, you have to breathe? Yes, I have to breathe. So you have to eat? Yes, I have to eat. You have to think? Yes, I have to think. So what is the meaning of not performing action? The meaning of this is that we should not perform any action that obscures or interferes with our connection to Krishna. This is the meaning of, of action devoid of propensity, satisfying the senses, satisfying the nature of the world, what people say we should do. The other aspect is knowledge. That was karma. This is jnana, knowledge. So we have to think. You have to think clearly? Yes, I have to think. You have to use your conceptions of not walking into the street when there's cars coming. Yes, we do. The idea is, is that when intel intellectual speculation or when knowledge interferes with the understanding that Sri Krishna is so sweet, so wonderful, and so genuine, he's the first, he and Srimati Radhika are the prototypical human beings. The reason why you have two ears and a nose and a mouth is because of Srimati Radhika and Krishna. The reason why there's trees grow in this world, the reason why there's animals, everything comes from Vrindavan. Everything has been exported from Vrindavan. Sri Rupa Goswami has come to this world to show that yes, these are exported from this dawn. They have their source there. So don't do anything in this world that obscures your relationship with Krishna and your love for Krishna. This is basic, this is the conception that I have of this particular shloka of Sri Rupa Goswami. Oh, what, what did you mean? Ankulena Krishna Mishan. You have to find Ankulena Krishna Mishan. You will define Anavigasta. Yeah. But what is the meaning? That all our actions should be pleasurable for Krishna. Huh? Tell them, Mishan.
intrinsic, there's intrinsic meaning to the verse and an extrinsic meaning to the verse. The intrinsic meaning to the point of this verse is that all of our actions should be pleasurable for you. What? Not favorable because Chad and Rusty, they please that they didn't have a Our brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and are mentioning this, this concept of Chandor and Mushtik. Chandor and Mushtik were two wrestlers in the arena of Kamsa that tried to kill Krishna. So Krishna had a mood, a pair was in a mood to fight. So these, in order to fulfill Krishna's desire, these two wrestlers went out to try to kill Krishna, to try to kill Balaram. Seemingly, this was pleasurable to Krishna. But Srila Rupa Goswami was pointing out that because these two wrestlers desired to kill Krishna, this actually was not pleasurable for Krishna. It was not, it was not favorable for, Krishna, for their Krishna consciousness. <laughs> Most importantly, I think that this was not favorable for our Krishna consciousness. Because if Krishna were to, then how would he fulfill it after his pastimes? So, Srimati Yasoda, for example, Srimati Yasoda scolded Krishna. She bound Krishna to a mortar, and makes Krishna cry, and calls Krishna names. And seemingly, is this blood is not pleasurable for Krishna. Krishna is upset. But in actuality, she is increasing Krishna's love. Her relationship with Sri Krishna is born of intimacy. And in that, she pulls Krishna closer and increases Krishna's happiness. So, Srila Goswami explained what is Uttama Bhakti. <coughs> From this word Uttama Bhakti, as the Rupa Goswami has told in this issue, then there should be Madhyama Bhakti, Kanishta Bhakti. It may be. Like some mixture of Bhakti. Of Kayan, Gyan, Karma, Gyan, Karma. So it has been told, Uttama Bhakti means pure Bhakti, Ashuddha Bhakti. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told, in Tattva Vivek, that there are something resembling to Bhakti, but not really Bhakti. We do some, so many things in the name of Bhakti. Bhagavat Kahetaha Paripurna Chale Dharma Prabhu Jeta Kahito Atkar Parimondi Masana Nam Sata. In this word, related word, there are so many things in the name of Dharma which are not really Dharma, they are what? Cheating Dharma. We are cheating. So something we do in the name of bhakti, really not bhakti. Anyone can follow Sudha Bhakti in the stage of Madhyam Uttam or Uttam stage. Uttam Bhagavata stage. Not really in Kanishtha and those I know that so many are that even no condition. No condition. They can they have no conception of conception of or real bhakti, uttana bhakti. But we do. Why do? Oh, not good associates. Guru they get mantra. And if are trying to develop us our heart. But at that time, we could not fall. So sometimes, Rupa Goswami has collectively divided of thousands and thousands kinds of bhakti, of tamasic bhakti, rasic bhakti, sattvic bhakti, nirgun bhakti, karma mishra bhakti, Yad Misha Bhakti, Yog Misha Bhakti, so many. These are not pure Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti. Uttama Bhakti, 
like Mother Jasoda, even chastising Krishna, Krishna weeping, but it is more than Uttama Bhakti. You know that to defeat an animal is not good for that defeated person. He will be. But Krishna was defeated by his friends and he was a smiley. And telling what? I have defeated you. That I have defeated. My nose is up. <laughs> like tricky. <laughs> so, <coughs> Krishna, by what our service she will be? Oh, so happy. And the mood of our mood should be that we should serve Krishna. That mood. This mood should not be like to kill Krishna and to uh, to Krishna. This should be. That is why it has been told Ankulena. Ankulena means what? Favorable. It should not be infavorable like the example. Dharma and Mustik and his and other. They were not favorable. But anyhow, Krishna was very happy by Krishna. And Mother Joshua tried to him. And Krishna was happy. But yet it is Uttama more than Uttama Bhakti. So, it should not be feminine, uh, But this is not this symptom of bhakti mok, or symptom. What? Unprecedented, unsignal bhakti. Anything can like any flower, any tree at the time of Krishna. <coughs> they cannot serve Krishna. Krishna can come on the shade of trees and he can take some fruits. And thus he can take service from them. Anything more, whether he is unfavorable, but whether he is action is to serve Krishna or not, this, this is the main thing. So, Anushila, all, our all kinds of <coughs> endeavor by, by mind, by words, by how, keeping, keeping aside unsuffering things, Always in the body. Like unbroken stream of honey. This. Now, this is like a barometer. Measures, measuring a scale. You can take it and give a scale in your heart, whether or, or what is pure or what. Reply at once if you can. <coughs> Your notes are like Mother Yasoda, Shakha, or Gopis, unbroken in day and night, 24 hours without break. You take milk for Krishna or yourself. You should take your milk for Krishna. But how it is? You are sleeping. You should sleep for Krishna, not for you, but you are sleeping for yourself. Gopis sleeping and they are walking. Everything for Krishna. So try to be like that. Try to involve all your energy to please Krishna in some Oh,
unbroken stream and it will be broken. But Sri Goswami has told that this is Uttama Bhakti. In Siddhavastha. Siddhavastha, you know? What is For them it has been told. We cannot. When you will come in a rati state, then you can do something. Like Bharat. But Bharat, being in a rati state, and he was deep. Wow. Deviated. For three lifetime. He left everything. Like a school. In the age of half age. And that means half age was 50,000 years age he left home. And he came in forest. Anyhow, he has some affection from a baby deer. And death came at that time. And he was remembering for years. And he became good. So up till that, Rati stayed. We have some chance to fall down. So very carefully. So, we should not do like Bhat Maharaj. His action part was Shatik Daya. Daya means? Shatik. <laughs> but he was divisive. So don't have any, any attraction or attraction? Attachment. Very good. Attachment to anyone. Maliti devotees, pure devotees, and Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Vityananda. Be always alert and careful. And when it comes to me, devotee, oh, Maharaj, be merciful to me, oh, this child. That my child should be happy. Why? Some other time. Though Satya, but no good. We will support and nourish as a tough of them, as a duty. But don't be attached to him. Only attachment will be with Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Krishna and Radha, and the associates. So Rupa Goswami has divided bhakti into three parts. Sarup Siddha Sarup Siddha Then Sangha Siddha and then Arup What is Arup Siddha? The word When we're engaged in a certain activity for our own pleasure, but we're offering the results to Krishna so that Krishna himself will give us pleasure, so that he'll be pleased to please us with material fulfillment of our material desires. But I'm attributing or superimposing the word bhakti on my activity. This is called arup siddha bhakti. For example, I may be interested in arts and crafts. I may like to sew clothing and I may like to play with dolls. So I uh, worship the deity because it gives me pleasure to make clothing. And I'm also thinking that Krishna, by seeing this activity, which already pleases me, will give me more pleasure and peace and prosperity in this world. Any Gita can you quote? Sagar Dhamma Parichaja. 
that yeah, whatever you do, whatever you offer, whatever you give away, should be done as an offering to me. But the problem with that is that I'm thinking that it's mine to offer, and therefore it's not really bhakti. Bhakti, the, in the definition of bhakti, uh, all my endeavors of body, mind, and words is to please Krishna, and I'm not thinking that anything belongs to me, and I'm giving it to Krishna. It's already Krishna's, and my soul is open to Krishna. Vrindantra, you're so clear. No. All you should try to know. No. What is all of Siddhava? And really you are doing the same or not, you should escape it. Just talk about it. You want to understand clearly what is Arup Siddha Bhakti. First we have to understand what is Sarup Siddha Bhakti or the activities of pure bhakti. More than that? There are 64 angas of pure bhakti. Nakshadana, Kirtana, Vishnu, Smarana. And so many things which have been described as Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Now if we perform any activity which is not in this category of 64 items of pure bhakti, then we attribute or superimpose on that activity that this is meant to please Krishna, then that is called Aravasiddha Bhakti. Example is, we may have a very good business, like flower business, growing flowers, or having a dosha, or having a school, and we offer some of the fruits to Krishna and thinking that I am performing this activity for Krishna, but really all the profit and benefit, the position which we get from that, this is for me, yeah, in order to please me. So this is called Arupa Siddha Bhakti. You? Yes? No, no. That was. I don't call Indian war. Same big war. What is it? Give attention, create. Careful, you should hear. I told you that I can ask from anyone. Very precious five or six days. That one hour daily you should give me, not thinking anywhere. Yeah. This time is mine. Can you? Yes, sir. No. So Prabhu will explain that uh, to do the bhakti. Most more please. For the pleasure of Krishna and Rafa pleasure. So all our activities uh, as explained by Rupa Goswami should be dedicated to please Krishna only in your own sense. Give you a back The word Anya Abhilasita means other desires which are outside of giving pleasure or activities which are favorable to Krishna with the intent of giving pleasure to Krishna. So a rope siddha bhakti that has been explained as uh, different activities. Uh, if one has um, an inclination to do something in this material world, whether it be art, crafts, business, whatever, and uh, he offers the fruit of that, um, so that is not wholehearted surrender, Rapani Vedana. But we're giving part, a part of our fruit, and we're still, the main intention is for the pleasure of our own mind and senses. So that is outside the realm of pure Bhakti. Or Pichara Veja. Jananananda. Prabhu. Yes, we're ready to explain. Shilabhakti Vinod Thakur mentions in Bhakti Thakur today 
that even more dangerous than uh, an atheist is something in the name of bhakti that presents itself uh, in the association of the monkeys. Because an atheist we can recognize right away. So Gurudev is trying to help us uh, in our develop developmental stage so that we don't fall into the pitfalls of uh, Vipik and um, Babaji, uh, all these different manifestations of things that are presenting themselves in the name of Bhakti. So what the Bhakti means, as has been explained here, activities of the body, mind, words, accompanied by various spiritual sentiments, emotions, with the consideration of giving pleasure to Krishna. And any other consideration which may manifest in our heart becomes a rope set of Bhakti. I may be teaching a school, but if I'm enjoying the fact that I'm relating with the children and I'm uh, getting so much honor and recognition, then my activities are not devotional service. But if at every moment I'm thinking, how can I give pleasure to my Gurudev? How can I give pleasure to, to Krishna, Mahaprabhu, and Jananda Prabhu? Then that activity becomes uh, devotional service. It's not, it's not a question of what we're doing externally, and the nectar of devotion also should have probably meant to surrender. It is the attitude of the devotee, what's in his heart, that Krishna is attracted to. So our cultivation is an, an affair of the heart. It's not by just engaging our body, our mind, and our words, but by turning over our very life to our Gurudev. And he'll present our hearts to our own oh. The term Aroksila Bhakti is a definition of meaning superimposed. There are so many objects in this material world, and the devotee naturally wants to engage everything. Or don't sleep. Or don't sleep. Like that, you should be standing like this. Oh, very small. No, I will make you stand up on the bench. <laughs> so, the term arope means to superimpose or to label. So there are so many options in the material world that as devotees we want to engage them all in Krishna's service. So the tendency will be that those objects we have a natural attachment or tendency for, we will want to engage those in Krishna's service as it is very convenient to us or very pleasurable to us. So we have to be very careful that not to mistake this for pure bhakti as this serves our own purpose, other than 100% for the purpose, the pleasure and benefit of Sri Krishna. Any example? An example for instance is I like to be a farmer, I like to raise cows or grow flowers or vegetables in the garden. It's cool, so, call it. Like that. I, so, I, will, I will do that for Krishna, offer the flowers to Krishna, offer the milk for the cows to Krishna. This is good activity yeah. to enter into bhakti, but we should not mistake in this for actual swaru to the bhakti or the intrinsic pure nature of bhakti. Hare In the beginning, you have to practice beginning from this, then no other method, no option. By this Supreme may come, association may come, and by gradually this, oh, then some Siddha will come, and then it will be, oh, real solution you will have, and by this you can enter in Sarup Siddha. This is it. No other. And that is why Swamiji, your Guru, they introduced all these things. Mainly this. Not Sarup Siddha, but very rare. Mainly Sarup Siddha. And they thought that, oh, by this we will go, or oh, direct 
Guru Vrindavan, not a stain, not missing or one minute in even by Kuntha God. Direct view. But oh, they are now where? Not in Kuntha Vrindavan, opposite. Where? They are in hills. Not, not normal. Especially the hell you Given that Swamiji, around for ever, keeping aside all the teaching. Those who are Trihastra, okay, they are not deficient in any how with weak heart. But those who are uh, insulting him, dishonoring him, but more than this, disobeying and telling him that he was not good. Only no. Bona fide guru even. And they are teaching for it. So they are I in hell. Really they are opposite. And though then how do I left Brahmacharya Ashram and they have come to family life. It is more, somewhat, so much better. For they are following his instructions. Going more. They are not so much deficient. I think they are deficient. Though those who are in the Ritik system, those who are like this, from Canada, Sajarati, I'm telling, no, don't man. And they are telling that, oh, he, he, is, he was not really one of that group. So, we should know that. Shavanam, Kirtan, Smaranam, Adashivan. Archanam, Bandhanam, Dasyam, Satyam, Atmanam. These are Saruk Siddhava. Among them, among the 64 lengths of Bhakti, Sadhu Sangha, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavat Sama, Mathurava, Sri Bhakti Sama. Sakal Sadhana Sashta, Ehi Panchanga, Krishna Prem Jannai Pache Alpasana. Even a very small of this Sarup Siddha Bhakti, the five limbs of Bhakti are very powerful, like Krishna, Sadhu Sangha, like Nara, like Sukhdeva Swami, like Guru Sanatana, like any of our disciplic guru. Sula Bhakti will not talk to Sri These are most high class of limbs of Bhakti. And these are so Siddha. And among five, oh, but if even very small or very small amount is done for these five, Krishna praying is bound to come. But only offense is there. If anyhow some offense to do they to waste no ten like kinds of offenses, be very careful. If you are even in Maja Hasi, even in joking, you are making offense of any Guru Vaishnava, then it is very hard. These five limbs cannot do anything. But if there is no opera, then you are continuing. Oh, very soon. What very soon? In one, two, three, four, ten, but you can take Krishna. Even in thousand lives you have attended. Oh, very soon it is. Very soon. Really? It has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam. 